What do you typically wear? Whatever you want. There's no okay. restriction. But uh, uh, it should be simple. And uh, uh, it should not be uh, what I can say. Uh, modest. Having a soothing impression influence on the devotees. Thank you very much for allowing us to be your guests in the Gurudwara. It's very kind of you. Uh, I've also wanted to encourage all of the students uh, to, to continue in your study. I've had the privilege of visiting Amritsar, the Golden Temple in, in uh, the Punjab. And uh, I've been many places in the world, over a hundred countries, and I'll tell you, there's nothing like walking through the, do the gateways and seeing the beautiful water and seeing the, uh, the Sikh temple, the Golden Temple, in the middle of a lake, surrounded by, uh, it's, it's really an amazing sight. And then to go afterwards and have langar and have delicious food and sit and talk with people is a real treat. And it, that, that festival of langar it really speaks to me. You can tell it would speak to me. <laughs> but it really speaks to me about a, a spirit of hospitality and a spirit of genuine, sincere openness, which is lacking in our world today, as people are often very guarded and religion can often be a vehicle to make divide people and, and to be guarded. But there's something very simple, but yet very powerful about sharing bread, sharing food, meet, sitting together on the floor as equals. You, could, you don't know if you're sitting next to the king of a country. Right now, the prime minister of India is a Sikh. I could have been sitting next to him because everyone is sitting equally together. And uh, wherever I've traveled in the world, I've had the privilege and honor of, of meeting Sikh people, and I'm sure as you continue on in your life, and uh, when you come to a new town, feel free to find the Gurudwara, or feel free even to look in the phone book under, and find Singh in the phone book and say hello, mm -hmm. because you'll be automatically welcomed. You, you'd never have to feel alone because of that commitment of hospitality. And I'll tell one last story very briefly. Uh, a young man uh, told me that he had been uh, gone to a, someone, a business person, and the person had cheated them. And uh, I asked them to tell me the name of the person, and he said it was Singh. And I said, listen, that man who you say cheated you was a Sikh, and it's impossible. You made the mistake. It is absolutely impossible for a Sikh person to cheat you. And the person went back and checked and said, oh, you're right, Dr. Van Gorder. I had made the mistake. You're right. And this power of reputation is a beautiful thing in the world. I hope all of you aspire to that, that by the end of your life, when someone hears your name, they say, that name is like gold. I, I, I count that person. But here we have a faith tradition that is so committed to these values and morals. These are not easy values and morals to live with the kind of things we've heard about. And yet here's a tradition in our midst that really enriches all of us by that commitment to character and excellent. So I want to thank your hospitality. Uh, he is my friend for life. He bought me coffee the first time we met. <laughs> so I'm always in your debt. And thank you, Mother, for your hospitality. And thank you, Father, for being here, Dr. Singh, for being with us. We really look forward to learning from you in the future. And thank you very much for, for all of you students for listening. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Professor Chris, and all of our young students. Uh, you have come to this uh, temple of God, temple of Sikhism, or Sikh Gurdwara. I, on behalf of my management, my uh, community, welcome you uh, once again. Thank you very much. Now I will like to uh, give you a few books about Sikhism so that you can enhance your knowledge about Sikhism.